Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Do you remember when you were 10 years old and you used to approach every single day from this perspective of innocent joy, wonder and curiosity about the world? There was no pausing and snoozing the alarm. There was no scrolling on your phones if you had a phone back then at that age. You just got up and you went out and you rode your bike, you explored the streets, you played football on the weekend with your friends, you ran around and, 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 and played and explored with your imagination. That innocent state of wonder and curiosity and divine intrigue about the world around you can still be found. I know because when I do look back at those periods in my life, I can confidently say that it was the most happiest time of my life. No obligations, but also that there was this sensibility, this purity that hadn't been corrupted yet by vices that we are chained to in this modern world. One of my favorite reactions when I talk to my clients about you know, whether they're quitting pornography, whether they're quitting weed, whether they're quitting their pain pills, whether they're quitting alcohol, is they start to say after the months go on is, Joseph, I, I feel like a kid again. I feel like a child. I have that inner state of wonder, curiosity, and zeal for life again. And I wanted to share with you this post about an individual who is on his particular uh, retention journey. And the comparison made is, again, so heartwarming to the point where you recognize, irrespective of the benefits or irrespective of the mitigation of negative thoughts and negative emotions, this is what we're really seeking. It's that state of purity that we had when we were in uh, you know, primary school. Primary school, we call it in the UK. I'm not sure the equivalent is for, you know, for wherever you're from. But that kind of nine, 10 years old, innocent state of wonder before puberty hits and your emotions and your hormones are going to whack. So is this what we're supposed to feel like? I'm coming up one year on my journey nearly one year of struggle, falling down and getting back up. I've had multiple streaks, with this current one being my longest at 63 days into my retention journey with no porn, no sex, no masturbation, no PMO. Wonderful. It's been 38 days since my last wet dream. At times, it's as if I need to pinch myself since it feels almost surreal, the adaptive changes that I've been going through. It's as if my awareness has been upgraded, particularly regarding people and their body language. I can instantly pick up how someone thinks and feels about themselves in relation to me. It's like a borderline psychic yet intuitive realization that's happening all at once. My brain feels like it's been upgraded. When you stop sullying your cognition with these huge hits of dopamine with these huge super stimuli, irrespective of its pornography, in my personal opinion, because I used to st struggle with nicotine, I used to struggle with weed. And I think rather serendipitously, I dropped all these things at the same time. So it might be acutely difficult for me to understand where the lines are between those two. But I really believe that your emotional health comes at a consequence of your neurochemical imbalance or balance in the brain. Meaning if you're reliant on the dopamine being being left in your synapses, whether it be porn, whether it be nicotine, whether it be weed, it's going to have a consequence on how you are using these kinds of sensibilities in yourself, your ability to be intuitive, your ability to have that awareness, that kind of um, super, uh, spatial awareness around you to be able to read people to be able to have that intuitive realization because again your mind and your, your, your limbic system isn't plotting against you trying to get your next hit of dopamine where once i used to struggle with anxiety and being in certain social situations that has been replaced with having such a calm such a calm focused centered uh self-assuredness that multiple in moments i've caught myself in even in awe at the dramatic changes. Magnetism is real. I've experienced women opening doors for me, looking at me, engaging with me, preening while talking with me, not just women. I was on a work trip recently and the amount of random strangers that would engage in conversation with me was startling. Nothing was forced. 
There seemed to be this flow state to things. The best way I can describe it is as if the universe reorientates itself to put you in flow state. I like to describe it as you find your rhythm. You come back into your rhythm, right? I'm not saying, and I think it's important for us to be realistic, and I know you hate me for reining you back in sometimes, is you're going to have bad days now and again. You're going to have those flat lines. You're going to have that stagnation of energy. But they are less frequent than the days when you were addicted to this particular vice, right? When you're constantly oscillating that rhythm, right? Because we don't vibrate at a certain level all day, all week. We, we dip. There are, there are peaks and there are valleys, right? And when you move up to courage, willingness, joy, equilibrium, when you begin to oscillate and find your rhythm at a higher level, sure, you'll still find peaks when you go down to you know, the flat lines, fear, fear, I might go back to my old self, but then the peak is even higher, right? Acceptance, joy, and people notice that. They notice that vibration and the energy, and it, it turns into this, this, this natural flow. You, know? you find yourself opening conversations or people opening conversations with you that, that you can't help but know, intuitively know that this is a direct consequence of your emotional and energetic state at that time. How you walk into a room, your, your head is held just that, that degree higher than it was, would have been if you're, you know, you've just relapsed, right? Yet you're making eye contact and, you, and people can see that strength within you. They feel it. I think to me, the most startling change is in my fields of awareness and perception. It feels almost like I'm on a low dose of MDMA. I, I get it. I like to say it's almost like you're on uh, your uh, psilocybin, your microdosing psilocybin. I'm convinced that this is a spiritual experience. I believe I am experiencing these changes because my inner world is reorientating and changing. So within, so without. Your external world is a reflection of your internal world. You can only see a smile in the reflection of the mirror until you first smile. I believe I'm experiencing these changes. So the, so the outside world is reflecting that back to me. On more than one occasion, I found myself thinking, is this what we're supposed to have felt like all along? Yes. Yes, it is. Like, I now realize that I call myself a man, but really I had no business calling myself that. I was a walking husk empty inside an animal with no impulse control, particularly where it mattered most, in the sexual domain. This is the foundation, gentlemen. That is foundation from which every other discipline needs to spring from. If you do not have discipline regarding the conservation of your sexual force, everything else suffers from it, particularly us wet dream sufferers. I feel like I'm still at the beginning of this journey. I'm sure every streak and effort to conserve has in some way contributed to what I'm experiencing, in some way benefiting me. I can't wait to experience 90 days next, then 180, then 360. Don't focus on the days. Focus on the lifestyle. I think you should be ecstatic to live the present moment here and, and tomorrow and the day after that. Like just how deep does this rabbit hole go? I think these milestones should be celebrated. We can all see that society as we know it is designed to have us frivolously dissipate our sexual energy. Walking around in a state of confusion and exhaustion. I feel like if you don't conserve, you don't even remember what it feels like to really be alive. Like when we were kids. I've experienced those feelings and re-entering my life. All I can say is I embrace life. The juice is worth the squeeze. There was a comment here that uh, again really speaks to me. I love it when people write, it's like being a child again, because it really is. And there's a beautiful quote here from Matthew 18. Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. This is one of my favorite analogies, like I've told you. And uh, I, I'm not going to sully what Matthew has said, because I believe it's true. The state of heaven, I mean, you can call it, if you like, the physical place of heaven. I always have referred to heaven as a, a mental place. You know, when you're in apathy and guilt and depression, you're in hell. But when you're, you know, in alignment, willingness, courage, peace, you are in heaven. And you can only enter these states until you become like a child again. These are not theories. These are facts. Speak soon.